Welcome back to it. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. It's a Wednesday and you know what that means. It's time for another edition of our Wednesday feature where we focus on the unconventional side of the law. It's called So Now What? And we're joined once again by our trusted expert lawyer and director at Legal Ease at Seattle today, Aitan Stern. And today's question is, I got arrested during the festive season, so now what? We'll be focusing on what your legal rights are and recourses are when it comes to getting arrested for being a little too festive during this holiday <laughs> season. Welcome. Good to be here. <laughs> Talking about a serious topic today. It's a yes, big it's one very, because very, very. I think a lot of people are going to be experiencing that exactly. it's quite joyous at this time of the year. Yes. But first of all, we want to be absolutely clear and say that as the Expresso Show, we absolutely do not condone, promote or tolerate any irresponsible use of alcohol. But the truth is, yeah. whether we condone it or not, people are going to get reckless yeah. out there. People are going to be drinking yeah. and they're going to find themselves in, in a situation where they a would rather not be yeah. in. It's a crucial thing to talk about this time of year. Yeah. South Africa has some of the worst uh, rates of drunken driving in the world and some of the most dangerous roads in the whole world. So, wow. you know, if we could talk about this every week, I'd be happy to. Well, that the death toll crazy. speak for themselves. Mm. Really. The numbers yeah. are shocking. That's absolutely mm. insane. That's so now in. the first question is, mm. what happens when you are arrested during the festive yes. season? Is it like, does it follow everyday procedure? What's the process between being cuffed and ending up in jail? Oof. Okay, so so the, the crime that you're committing if you're drunk and driving is either driving with alcohol in your blood or driving while you are currently intoxicated. Yeah. And if you're arrested, you have to be tried, you have to, you get taken to jail. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be tried, uh, well not tried, you have to be, be put in front of a judge within 48 hours of being arrested mm. or within 48 hours of the first court day after you're, after you're arrested. Sure. So wow. if you're arrested on a Friday, on a Friday <laughs> and the first court day is going to be a Monday, that's going to be a very, very tough weekend for you. Ooh, it's going to be a long one. Okay, yeah. so yeah. before you get arrested, I suppose something has to have happened first. You need to have been over the limit. What sure. is mm. uh, the acceptable blood alcohol limit in South Africa? And what are the varying degrees of charges that you may sort of face should Alrighty. you be over that limit? Okay, yeah. so as I said, you know, your charge is either drunking, dr drunking while driving, yeah. drinking while driving, yeah. so being intoxicated while driving, or being intoxicated, or being driving when you've got blood, um, when you've got alcohol in your blood system. Mm. So it could be that even if you drove the night before, you could still have alcohol in your blood system, mm. and you can have 0 0.05. Uh, milligrams uh, or, or, of alcohol within 100 mils of blood. It's a very hard thing to, to kind of know when you're over the limit. So yeah. in the rough guide, is it's about one drink, and it's going to differ from person to yeah. person. Your size, your, uh, your experience with alcohol, it's mm -hmm. going to differ. But generally, it's going to be about, for one person, it's going to mm -hmm. be about one drink. It could be less than a drink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're having two beers, you're probably going to be over the limit, and then you can be arrested. Well, I've yeah. known people who had one glass and were still arrested because they did go over the limit for, for sure. having one glass of alcohol. So it's really important people to remember the law is not one glass of alcohol yeah. it's not mm. one uh, one drink it's that if you've got over a certain amount of alcohol in your bloodstream then you can be arrested and if you are arrested the charges can be uh, quite uh, severe mm. uh, you can spend up to six years in jail you can get Ooh, a fine what? my stomach yeah. just turned you can get a, f a fine of up to 120,000 rand and this is all just you don't Ooh. even need to do anything bad you don't need to hurt anyone or crash yeah. into anything in order to be arrested you just need to be behind the wheel yeah. of drunk that's all without ever having hurt anyone or done anything. As soon as you cause an accident, mm. kill someone, God forbid, then things start to get very, very serious. We're not looking at six years anymore. Yeah, like, I oh, mean, yeah. the safest thing is to rather stay away from drinking from and driving. driving completely. I yeah, mean, 100%. we have alternatives such as Ubering mm. and um, using get other a alternatives. To drive, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm. Now, if for instance, you are arrested on a public holiday like Christmas Day, mm. Boxing Day, New Year's. Yes. Is it a special charge or does it get treated? <laughs> special <as> charge. <laughs> it's Christmas. I don't know it's it's, it's the most enough. wonderful time of the year, dear. <laughs> No, I, mean, <laughs> I want to say, I was about to say unfortunately, but fortunately, no, there's no special charge. Mm. So if you're arrested on Christmas, um, and let's say Christmas is then on a, th on a Friday, yeah. and then you, so you might have the whole weekend ahead of you, you're still going to be in jail mm. from 48 hours after the first court day. So there are no special dispensations given 
Um, yeah. That's going to make for a really awful Christmas. Yeah. yeah. It is yeah. the most wonderful time of the year, Kusle, but I know you were trying your luck there. <laughs> Stay off the bottle if you're going to be behind the wheel. <laughs> we're going to be continuing this conversation with Eitan Sten back in a moment, figuring out, so now what if you are arrested for being under the influence of alcohol or driving while drinking at the same time? Get your mm. questions through to us on Facebook, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Espresso live on SABC3. It's a beautiful Wednesday. Thank you so much for choosing to wake up with us this morning. It's so good to have you. And we're continuing our, con our conversation this morning with lawyer and director at Legalese.co.za, Aitan Stern, about what your legal rights are when it comes to getting arrested for being, uh, how shall I put it, a little too festive during the holiday season. And we've asked you on social media uh, a question this morning. Our question was, if a friend is drunk mm -hmm. and uh, they're driving. Mm. Do you step into the car with them? Or do you not? Do you refuse to step in the car? So the question was, good morning. After a good night out, your friend wants to drive home, but you know they've had a bit too much to drink. Do you get in the car with them or call a taxi? Have we got some comments? We do have some comments on our Facebook page. We're going to start off with, with Renette Coop. Kupka. Kupta. Good Kupka. morning, guys. Call a cab. No drinking and driving. Arrive alive, guys. And don't put other innocent drivers on the road in danger. And this is the conversation we were having a little bit yeah. um, earlier on. Yeah. Why not? If you want to do something crazy, do it without involving the rest of us on the roads. <laughs> and Upomolo Moli says, I'd call a taxi. Ask someone to come fetch us. Mm. Some friends are stubborn. When you tell them that... Um, they drunk. They, that they drunk... Uh, that it's their car, but I can't let my friend drive while she's drunk. Mm -hmm. Not only is she putting her life in in in, in sin, danger, in danger, uh, but also the lives of all the other people on the road. Absolutely agree mm -hmm. with you, Pomola, out there. Oof. Like, stop being stubborn, friends, as well. You yeah, know, yeah. like if you can see that you're under the influence, don't try to. Put other people in danger. Yeah. Don't, no, give it don't a try. be a hero. Aitan, here's a very interesting question. Mm. Okay, so Smusen Gabindo also sent us a comment. It says it's never safe to get. Uh, okay, that comment's disappeared now. Uh, but basically saying that it's never safe to get in a car where, uh, uh, when drunk, I'm guessing, and drive while intoxicated. Uh, one just needs to call a cab. And it's, yeah. it's it's the same message. We all know this. We all know what we mm. need to be doing. But mm. I had a question earlier that I wanted to find out. When you are arrested uh, for being under the influence or dri uh, driving drunk do you get thrown in a cell with only drunk people so is there like a this is the cell for like you divide drunk up drivers yes. depending on your face the, dr yeah. the, the, the drunk tank as they call drunk it drunk tank yeah. yeah so so i guess the movies have shown us a lot of things around uh, what happens if you get arrested mm. yeah um I would say the only time you want to take advice from TV is when you're watching the Espresso Morning Show. But otherwise, <laughs> if, you, if, it's, if you're watching a Hollywood movie, it's not going to be the truth. So, no, yeah. in South Africa, there's no drunk tank or anything like that. Mm. You don't get a phone call. It's, it's Excuse not, me? No phone call. It's not, it's not as romantic as it is in the movies. It's, mm. it's pretty hardcore. Mm. So you're going to get taken to, to the police station. You do have the right to remain silent. Mm. There is lots of due process which needs to be followed. South mm. Africa obviously has a history of illegitimate or unfair detainment. So yeah. our constitution protects your rights yeah. around getting arrested. So there's process, but the process is not pretty. Um, and you're going to get put into a cell. They're going to follow the process. They'll put you into a cell. And you're going to get put into a cell with whatever other criminals have uh, committed crimes that night and are also waiting Murderers, for... Murderers, rapists. Wife Everyone. Gangsters, Everyone. You, you name it. You're going to get put into the cell... Um, uh, the cells are overcrowded, they're not comfortable, you're not going to have your own cell, you're not going to have your own bed. You, it's going to be an extremely, extremely rough and uncomfortable night. Mm. It's going to make paying for the Uber worth it a thousand yeah. times. Absolutely. Um, so no, there's no specific cell yeah. for, for, uh, for drunken driving. You're getting put in with sure. whatever other criminals are in there. In South Africa, you've got to ask what criminals are going to be uh, committing you don't want to know. Friday nope. night. Yeah. You, you don't, don't want to have to find know. out. Not worth it. Mm. Now, when you're applying for bail on a charge yes. of drunk driving, right? Mm. Um, does your penalty and sentence increase depending on whether or not you're a first-time offender? Mm. Okay, so that's interesting. So bail, so bail's not meant to be a penalty. But the, the reason they try, you have bail is to say, listen, we're gonna, we, we're gonna charge you with a crime, but we're only going to be able to do the court case in a couple of weeks or a couple of months' time. Mm. So we need to make sure that you come back. So the idea of bail is to charge you an amount of money that if you come back, 
you get your money back. Mm. So the bail is going to differ from person to person. It's also going to differ from crime to crime. Mm. So certainly, the more serious the crime, the higher the chance of you fleeing and not coming back to court. Yep. Yeah. So the higher the, the, the bail is going to be. Mm. And then certainly, the, 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 if you're drunk and driving, mm. And you're just over the limit. Your sentence may be lower, but if you are, then then if you are drunk and driving and you crash into someone or kill someone, yeah. you're looking at a whole different set of uh, penalties. What yeah. happens then? I mean, if you kill someone drunk and driving, then you are, uh, then you can be and probably should be charged with uh, culpable yeah. homicide. You absolutely with should be actually. And that's that that's obviously can be many many years in jail. And you deserve yeah. it. If you, if you have killed someone while driving yeah. under the influence. Yeah. Um, so what are the possibilities and requirements to get a drunk driving charge sort of expunged from your criminal record? Okay. So there's no chance of it. Once it's on your criminal record, it's, a criminal, it's on your criminal record. Mm. Um, criminal records are also public unless it's for minors. Mm. But they're public. In theory, you could get the president to pardon you for a criminal record. That's possible. But in general, criminal records are a permanent thing. Mm. Uh, we, the state is not allowed to censor uh, public records. So no, once it's on your criminal record, it's a criminal it record. Stays. Then you can kind of say goodbye to going to countries such as America. Mm. We won't allow you, we'll give you a visa if you've got a criminal record. Yeah. Mm. Every job that you ever apply for, you're going to have to tell them. It's not, it's not fun. It's not yeah. something that you want. It's absolutely not worth it. That's totally. the message I, at the end of the day is it's not I worth it. I really think it. about life in terms of like risk versus gain. Your, your risk in drunken driving is, yeah. you know, criminal record, jail, murdering someone. Your gain is that you get home without paying a 50 rand Uber fee so, or taxify. So, you know, support a small business this holiday. Mm. Like, yeah. uh, you know, support the Uber and taxify drivers. Mm. And just, it's just not worth taking yeah. the risk. Yeah. Yeah, oh, Eitan, thank you so much for oh, that. That was Any really pleasure. insightful. Thank mm. you so much Important. for it. I hope that uh, we have equipped you with a little bit of knowledge this festive season yep. to remain responsible on the road, to not put yourself and everyone else around you in danger. Um, so right now, mm. we're just going to continue on with the show's mm. festivities. It's, it's not worth it. It's not, not worth it. Not at all. <laughs> not at all.